Shalom, y'all. So, um, if you see underneath my TikTok info, it says that I am a spiritual warfare prayer intercessor. Have been for years now. Sometimes I've walked away from it because I was so stupid. That's just literally the real reason. Stupid and lazy. Aggravated. Um, the world frustrates me a lot. And in the words of Mr. Incredible, can't you just stay, stay saved? Nonetheless, um, I have returned and because I know it is my calling and last year, some events happened in my, in my immediate family that caused me to remind me that I need to get off my butt and pray. And that is my calling. And that's what I'm going to be doing because we're not going to keep playing the back and forth game with God because I'd give my life to God and I'd take it back because he wasn't doing what I wanted. And I was just being lazy. All that aside, um, since then I have returned and it is an honor to walk in that purpose. And I had a few things today because in addition to the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, I do read other people, uh, other pastors and other um, books that speak on things. And I just wanted to... Uh, do this as an encouragement video because I know a lot of times, man, the weight of the world can be heavy because who our world is in so much turmoil right now. So I wanted to read the first thing and I'm going to give credit where credit is due. This is the book that I have. This is one of the books that I use. It's Prayers for Victory and Spiritual Warfare. It's by Pastor Tony Evans. And the first thing um, in the part that I'm reading says the battle is in the heavenlies. Um. Paul ends his discussion on the armor of God, which is a clarion call to prayer, which is Ephesians 6, 18. And I told you a couple of video go, videos ago, our pastor of our church has taken us through Ephesians right now. And I'm just so thrilled, so pumped, so excited to get to church on Sundays because my pastor is fantastic. Nonetheless, in addition to his words and God's words, I have these words. So um, why does Paul do this? Because prayer is how you get dressed for warfare, the full armor of God. Prayer is how you put on the armor. I define prayer as relational communication with God. It is earthly permission for heavenly interference. The reason why prayer often seems difficult to us is because Satan seeks to direct us away from it. So, I say that to say this, you have to stay armored up pretty much 24-7, 365, because Satan is always, always looking for ways to wreak havoc in your life. And that's why I love praying so much. It is like the greatest joy because I get to be with my Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit who lives in me and guides me and directs me always brings these things to me. I told you two or three videos ago the other night that every time I ask God to show me something, He does. And He does. And He showed me this stuff today. And so this morning, I, I made a video just a few minutes ago, but I had to say this one because this is in my Jesus, the original Jesus Calling. I have the app on my phone. I am grieved because I cannot place my hands on the original hard copy book that I had. It, it may have been lost in um, moving over the years. I, I don't know. But nonetheless, I have the, the app. And so today for February 6th, I'm going to just give you the beginning. Because when you go into warfare, you have to be aware of a couple of things. You can't just say, God, I give it all to you. You take care of it. I mean, you can, but you have to do your part, right? And as a spiritual warfare intercessor, this is an honor and a calling for me. And my assignment is my family. And I'm about to be in um, Bible study season for our churches. And I'm going to be doing two of them. Um, so I'm praying over not only myself and my co-leader, but the people who will come to the Bible studies um, to keep Satan out of it and so that they get set free and they get words from God and for all the other things that they need as Christians because you know as well as I do we need to stay prayed up armored up all the time however the second thing that I was notified about when I stepped back into my calling 
I was reminded that because I am a spiritual warfare intercessor, I will always have something to warfare about, right? So right now I'm going through um, stuff with my immediate family. My family's fractured. And um, so with that and the Bible studies that are coming up, I have a lot to warfare for, which I'm very grateful and very honored to do. So God let me rest a little bit this morning because I had a lot on my mind last night. I didn't sleep well because I was <laughs> trying to make sure I was covering everyone in prayer. And sometimes I can just, I have so many people to pray for. It ends up pumping me up because I get so excited because I'm with the Holy Spirit. I'm with God and I'm with Jesus and I'm praying with them. And it just sort of pumps me up instead of helps me calm down. So this morning I woke up to in Jesus calling it says, February 6th, come to me and rest, all in capital letters. I am all about you, to bless and restore. Breathe me in with each breath. The way just ahead of you is very steep. Slow down and cling tightly to my hand. I am teaching you a difficult lesson learned only by hardship. Now I know that that's like, oh, really? But the truth is, is I go back to the beginning because it's the most important five words at the beginning of this um, scripture, not scripture, it's not scripture, this encouragement in this devotional. That's what I'm looking for. Come to me and rest. And that is part of the lifestyle that I'm trying to cultivate is to learn that I also do need to rest in God because God's got this. We have already won the battle up in the heavenly realms. We, when we pray and we warfare, we come from a place of victory. So the battle's already been won. And I have to realize that I can't save the world by myself. So I am leaning into God, which is a change for me because before, and I think that's part of the reason God woke me up last year is before Whenever I felt like a failure, I try to run from God like Adam and Eve did in the garden. And pff, God knows, God knows where I am. God knows my stuff. He reads my mail, but I am intentionally trying to um, run to him and just let him comfort me. Let just rest in him and rest in his words and stand on his promises. So I hope this helps you today. I hope this is encouraging you today. And if anybody wants to join me in praying, come on. We need more spiritual warfare warriors. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for those who are inconsistent, which I found out the hard way. And yes, I've repented and uh, um, surrendered it to God. And now, like I said, it's truly an honor to be a spiritual warfare warrior. So God bless you. Hope this encourages you. Always know God is on your side. He is always for you. The blood of Jesus is, is upon you. He died on the cross, the finished works of the cross, and you have the Holy Spirit living in you. Embrace it. Chase it. It'll be a blessing, I promise. Peace, love, Jesus.